Hello everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanna show you a game that's a really great game to use as a reward to get your students to stay in line and, and be really well behaved during class because they really, really wanna play this game either at the end of the class or at the end of the week. This game is called the Mind Chain Game. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that this is the best game for teaching them English, but it's a really great game for classroom management, okay? so. Um, just keep this in mind when you're doing it. I wouldn't use this game as like, okay, I teach them new word, then we're gonna play this game right afterward because it's, this game does not help them speak, okay? Which is obviously my goal. I want them to speak English. So most of my games are focused on them talking. Where this game, it's not focused on them talking. It's, it's just a really fun game and the kids really, really like it. So I just showed it to them this week for the first time. And in the future, what I'm going to do is I will put the name of the game on the board. This game is called the Mime Chain Game. I'll just put like Mime or Mime Chain or Mime Game on the board. And I tell them, if they misbehave, I will erase one letter. And if the name of the game is gone, they can no longer play the game on Friday. And this works really, really well. You only have to erase a few letters before the whole class is like really, really afraid that they're gonna lose that opportunity to play the game. So the way the game works is you bring up like five or six students to the front have them stand in a line like facing the window so they're all facing each other's backs and you tell the first student one of the vocabulary words it could be one of the vocabulary words that they learned that week or you can put all of like you know review vocabulary words or whatever it is on the on the powerpoint so they can see all of them and you whisper in the one in the first student's ear what it is and you don't tell anyone else so the whole class has no idea what it is they're all trying to pay attention as well to see if they can figure it out and that the first student has to go to the next student, tap on their shoulders, that student turns around, and they, they do an action for the word. So in the video you're going to see, it's, it's wild animals, so the student will do an action to represent, like let's say an elephant or a tiger or whatever it is. And then that student has to then tap on the next person's shoulders and do the action, the exact action that person showed them to, the next, to that next person. And they continue down the line, like repeating that action, whatever action was shown to them, to the next person, okay? Then the last student has to guess, like what, what animal was that, you know? Or if it's other vocabulary, what word is it? So look at the PowerPoint, look at all the different words, and they'll have to decide which one it is, okay? If they get it right, they should say what it is, okay? If they don't get it right or they don't know or the action has changed so much that they can't figure it out, which is what makes the game really funny because that's what tends to happen, I will ask the whole class. Like I'll say like, who knows what it is? Who can guess, you know? But like I said, this is just a really, really fun game. It's one of those games that the kids absolutely love. It's even fun for adults to play this game. It's just a funny game, okay? So it's really useful for classroom management. As I said, I wouldn't use this as a primary like game where I, I teach vocabulary and then we play this game during the middle of class to have them remember the words. It's, I wouldn't say it's that kind of game at all because they're not speaking, you know? It's sort of on the same line like Chinese whispers, like where one student, like or telephone, like one student whispers the word into the next student ear, student's ear and then they have to keep passing it along. That game's better than this game, obviously, for teaching English because they're whispering the word. So each student in the line has to say the word, you know? So little kids really like that sort of game or if they're older, they can whisper a sentence or a question or whatever it is. That game's really effective for teaching English. I can show that in another video if, if anyone wants to see it. But this game is just passing on a, an action. So as I said, I wouldn't use this game as a as a teaching mo a teaching method, but more as like a reward to manage their behavior. Because if you can't manage their behavior or you don't have a way to like, in, like encourage them, give them an incentive to want to behave in class, whether it's a point system or whatever, you're all is lost. Like you could produce the best PowerPoint ever. You could have like the best game plan, the best like lesson plan and ready to go. But if you can't control their behavior, they're not gonna learn anything. If you have, you know, 40 kids in the class or 50 kids in the class and you can't get them quiet or keep them motivated or, or whatever, it's not gonna work. So this game is something that I've just shown them this week. And in the future, I can, you know, like I said, put it on the board, tell them. If you're really, really good, you guys can play this game on Friday because I see them twice a week. And if they start misbehaving or people are talking or getting too excited, I erase one of the letters. And all of a sudden they're like, oh no, or they're really, really loud, I'll erase like three of the letters. And then they understand, like, if they don't behave well, they can't play this game that everyone loves. Okay, so this is just one of those methods that I've, I've used from time to time. I've done it with a bunch of different games over the years. And this week I introduced the Mime Chain game. And next week I'm going to write Mime Chain on the board and tell them what I just told you. And 
It's gonna work wonders for controlling their behavior. If you've watched my videos before, you know that I have my grade twos under really good control. Like they're, they're pretty well behaved. My point system works quite well, but this is just another method that I'm gonna implement, that I'm gonna start using, just to you know show everyone that it, it works really quite well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, if you do, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in purchasing any PowerPoints, don't forget in the video description below, there's tons of PowerPoints or you can go to my Taobao store and you can find a ton of PowerPoints there as well. So hope you enjoy this. Let's get into the video. Two hands.
giraffe. Giraffe is right. Show me your action. Show me your action. Oh, she's a bit. 